what's going on guys bingo here with the dual factory for a video talking about the forbidden and limit of this now it's not going to be focused on what we feel like should be hit to adjust the format this is more of a fun video talking about a wish list that we just would like to see certain cards or like what if it happened type of thing so starting off we have uh, identified a couple of cards that we just mutually agreed that just have absolutely no reason to be where they're at on the list and we just didn't want to waste a wish list spot on them so we'll run through them real quick so i'll take the first couple then i'll pass it off the first one's die gusto emerald this is just like a no-brainer it's one of the only ways to recycle monster cards at one it'll be fine uh, certain decks really need that resource harpy's feather duster has been locked away for way too long uh, Double Iris Magician is just another tool Pendulums can use. And then, Joe, you can take the next couple. Alright, so we have True King Lithogasm. Uh, this is a really good card, and True Draco Dinos and whatnot. And there's a lot of strategies that I've really got to use it. But uh, I think it'd be comp completely fine at one, especially with some of the hits that we've had in previous lists. Um, Avarice is one that the OCG has had for a while. Um, they actually have three copies of it now, and I think we should. it's long overdue here. Especially with a lot of the decks, uh, I just think it's to a point where the cards honestly been power crept a little bit personally myself. But and then we also agreed on all of the dragon. This yeah. is you. You cut out, man. What did I cut out up? So we we agreed on the dragon rulers. If dark matters out of the format. Yeah, if Dark Matter's out of the format, it can come back. But I still think you have to ease them back into the format. But Yeah, as much as I'd like to say, just throw them at three, see what happens. This is going to be a deck that Yu-Gi-Oh! players, it's going to have a fan base, and they're going to try to break it as much as possible, which is fine. And maybe it'll be a Tier 2 deck, but at three, there's the possibility that the deck just is too insane, like something we didn't think about. I'm just saying, ruler format was my favorite time in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. I'm 100% down. I'd make it work. It's it's a good format. So the, the next one is Solemn Judgment to 2. This is a really strong counter trap that uh, I, I don't see a problem with it being at 2 uh, just to ease it in. And if it does become a problem, they could just correct it. But I don't think it would be. I don't think it's like a huge problem. I mean, like, you have to play differently with fear of a second judgment. But I mean, I don't think it changes that much. Yeah. And then moving up to the cards that just should be at three. Chaos Emperor Dragon, completely fine with its errata. Like, no one's going to play it anyway. Uh, Klee Fort Scout, the last of the Klee cards on the Forbidden and Limited list. So, just has no reason to be at one anymore. Absolutely zero. And then what's the next one? You have Ignister. Um, for those of you who. There was really. That you want Draco Pals, because there's a lot of plays that you made, like multiple Ignister. And Dynaster, but Ignister was just like insane before Master Rule 4. When Master Rule 4 came in, that's when it really lost its potency. Uh, Damage Juggler is the next one. I mean, we've had it at 1, it did nothing, especially with the Brilliant Fusion. I mean, at 3, it's cute, but like it doesn't do anything, honestly. And then 3 Book of Moon. This card should have been at 3 for the longest time. Uh, it would have been insane in Zoo format, but like other than that, every other format. That's just been yeah, lackluster. ever since Master Rule 4, like, not saying people won't experiment it with it or it won't have, like, a breakout event, but, like, it's never going to be staple. It's only good going first at that point. Yeah, so, all right, so moving into, like, our actual wish list. So what we did is we identified three cards that we could each bring to limited, semi-limited, and unlimited status. So we'll just go back and forth and see what happens. So I'll let you lead off with your first pick. You want to start with limited or? Yeah, we'll start with start with limited and work our way down. Okay, so my first pick for what I wanted was Heavy Storm. Uh, for those of you who played way back in the day, this is one of the uh, original power. It was Storm, Old, Reborn, and Avarice. Uh, people are making an argument they want Heavy, not uh, Harpy's Feather does it for back, and I think honestly you could have Heavy Storm. Yeah, uh, I, like I'm on the fence about this one. Uh, I wouldn't put it back to one, but like I, I just see some degeneracy. I mean, but like at the same time, like the only deck, like it just it murders back row decks. You have twin twister. You have yeah. There, there's there's no reason to 
to keep it off for that. I just feel like destroying your own cards, just like bouncing your own cards has always been more... Like, that. that's the reason I feel like this card's on the ban list in the first place. But I could be totally wrong. But So that's your first one. My first one is Zodiac Dryden. I think this card has no business being uh, locked up. It just like the deck needed to die, so they overkilled it. And I think did you it, not live in zoo format? I love. I lived in zoo format, and I absolutely enjoyed it. But Bro, this, this is a one card pop. Like, who cares if it's at one? Like, no broad bowl. Like, what are you gonna do? Pop a that's Colossus? So personal, though. That's a, that's a one card interruption. That's trick math. Yeah, it's like six negates. Uh, no, tr trick math like twenty thousand negates. You're right here. Come on. I don't know. I just think it, it, it kind of establishes some sort of play for the Z like the Zodiac engine is it just doesn't Bro, exist. Saying, the deck has nothing. So I'm just saying you have one Dryden and three Chakanine, it's getting recycled every time. Oh yeah. It's coming back every time. The Tiger Mortar. It'll actually be able to play. See, that's the thing. Alright, so that's my first one. What's your second one? Mine is a personal favorite. Because I love playing 60 card decks because they absolutely make no sense. But uh, I think Grass should come back to one, especially with Snow being gone. There's just something about activating a card, milling the top 25 of your deck, and your opponent just can't stop it. It just feels so empowering. Oh my god, Grass. <laughs> this card this card is wild. I mean, I agree. Like Since Snow's banned, I think it should be at one. But it's just like, you. so you go second, right? And your opponent, like full combos activates desires they got like 12 cards left in their deck and you're just like oh if this resolves i win the game <laughs> yeah it's one of those things though man like you have to invest everything into it i think it's yeah multiple but i want i think it's fun. yeah i don't think it could ever come up to multiple but with, with left arm offering i, I feel like it's a balanced trade-off like you're investing literally everything into it yeah, that's the thing though, like, especially now that like snow's gone, like there's not a whole lot you can mill off of it. Yeah. Probably. You have to make a specific deck. I mean you still got like block dragon and like other like really weird niche cards, but uh we'll we'll see I'd like to see what would happen. So my second pick is uh jumping back to twenty seventeen again, masterpiece. Such a horrible call. Why? Why? Why can't? Why is masterpiece need to stay locked? No up? one wants to deal with an undestructible monster. Yeah, oh, but we got three colossus. Yeah, but at least colossus can be like run over, or like you know hit with monster effects, or you know hit with spell cards like widow anchor. It's but uh, fine. masterpiece doesn't care about any of that. All he and does, it's an interruption. He, he with hit, math. Blue eyes can run over him. You know, he's like twenty nine fifty. Yeah, run him <laughs> over with dragonic diagram face. He's immune to spells. You're you're all right. I'm just making monster trap. Blue eyes don't run spell cards that blow shit up. Yeah, you don't know that. So we know this. I don't think it would do anything. I think that obviously the deck would play a little bit differently. They wouldn't play desires probably, but. I don't know. I'd I'd like to see what would happen. So, I don't going, to, going to your third one. Uh, wind up carrier Zen Mighty. Hold, hold, on. hold on. Did you just say Zen Mighty? <laughs> Zen Mighty. Uh, um, I'm gonna say no to that one. Why? <laughs> I don't like people touching my hand. It's, what, you don't like Lone Fire Blossom in the extra deck? It's a sacred place. Like, fuck with everything else, but you can't mess with the cards in my hand. But, like, it's the tugboat. I want the tugboat back. I think it'd be great for windups. Windups would still do nothing. Yeah, I mean. But it'd be great because everyone would be like, oh, look at all my, look at all my windup loops where I oh, take your yeah, hand. If that, came, if that came off the ban list, I would just, I'd be so sick of seeing, look at this magician shark windup combo. Like no shit. What do thing. you that's what do you do if you don't open magician shark? The deck does nothing. That's the only combo, just magician shark. Now I'm sure someone's been sitting there in the lab coming up with some bunch of stupid combos that don't even require them in your hand, but they haven't come to the light of service, and we hope that never happens. But I digress. No, there, there's no way, man. I've tried. You can't Bro, search. You can't search magician outside of like transmodifying reclusia. 
See, now you're do- you're doing too much. <laughs> I've, I've tried. Believe me. All right. That's pretty smart. That's so my number three pick goes along with the Dragon Rulers. And that's Spellbook of Judgment to one. You're the worst person. This card, at one, you're not going to hard open it. You're not even going to get it to three fucking counters. Like, it's going to... It's going to be an interesting tech options in decks that play it spellbook card. Says search my deck for vanity's emptiness. No, thank you. No, it says special summon vanity's. It says search vanity's emptiness and put it on the field. I'm not a fan. No, it's okay. not okay. So you have to play through a fate, a fate banish. And a thirteen hundred booty. Like, if you can't do that with a normal summon or impermanence, like, what is go? What is, what deck are you playing? I'm not. I'm not okay with this. I know I'm you're just, not. The, 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 it's, the you deck, can play it going second, and Jalgen wipes the board. <laughs> it destroys the board. Yeah, Jalgen wipes the board. Well, okay, you wipe a Sky Striker board. Summon Ray. I'm still not okay with. Oh that. wait. Jogging, right? They would just anchor it. Anyway, yeah, it, it wouldn't do anything. It's just a neat card. I think it's definitely... It was insane back in the day, but I think at one, it's not going to do anything. All right. So moving on to the semi-limited section, I'll let, I'll let Joe take the, the next one. So the next card, shout out to my boy Skip. I think we should have two for sure. You cut out. What was it? Uh, shout out to my boy Skip, but we need two Dragonfly and Zector Dragonfly, for sure. So this is one of the formats like I'm least familiar with. Like I know the deck just broke boards for days, but like what would this so, do? So yeah, like you could do some insane stuff with Zector. The only problem is now, I th- I honestly and wholeheartedly believe that this deck is just power crept beyond belief. That you could give it to us full power and it would do absolutely nothing. Now, that being granted, I'm sure there'll be random, like, tops or somewhere like that, because you have the consistency of having a second Dragonfly that just summoning all these monsters out of your deck. Yeah. But it's going to do nothing. I feel like the deck swarm capability is pretty nuts, but, like, I I just don't think it's worth playing over other decks. So it'd be cool to have another rogue strategy, but... The biggest part of the deck is Hornet pop everything. Well, everything has built-in protection now, so, like, Dragonfly Hornet's just, like, awful. Yeah. All right, so my first pick to semi-limited, I, I just put Shrit here. I didn't want to move it to three because I don't want to waste a spot, but this card could be at fucking five copies per deck, and it makes the same. Like, no one's going to play more than two. You're doing too much. No one's going to play more than two. Uh, probably not, but, like, you're still giving, like, that. You are you give so much open availability. I don't think it does enough to the I don't, power I, I honestly, outside of Jin being legal, I honestly think every Necros card could be at three, and it would still be a rogue strategy. Probably, but... But, alright, what was your second one? My second one, uh, because I know Bobby loves it, but, uh, I think, uh, Aether, the Heavenly Monarch, okay, it too. I mean, if you look at the deck now, like, you give it back three Stormforth, but, like, True Draco is just a better version of your monarch decks so like i mean you can give it a second aether and it gives the deck a little more consistency to play on your opponent's turn but ultimately it still doesn't do enough especially since the best card in the deck is still on yeah outside of like the deck just being straight released from the ban list like pantheism aether and uh stormforth like it's it's just gonna it'd be okay it'd be cool now i know ne- i never ever want to see a monarch card across from me because i hate that freaking deck but <laughs> whatever I, I think it would be okay stormforth erebus me again see what happens all right so my next pick is uh zodiac rap here so moving cards to two there weren't like too many really good options like it's a weird number to move a card to but rat at two in this day and age i I think would be perfectly fine as long as Broad Bull stays banned and like we don't get the full zoo arsenal back. Your link two plays become more consistent. Um, yeah. I'm not a I'm not a hundred percent sure on putting that back. That's like it seems harmless. So yeah, it's 
like it, with chalk and iron you know you get three bodies and if we did have one dry net like you got some neat ram ram like stuff but I, I i still think it only ends you with a link four with nothing else on board so i don't i don't think it's the best but i think it'd be fun fun to play and that's kind of the point of the game right just have fun yeah for sure all right so what's your last semi-limited card so my last simulated, I originally wanted red mana. I was way too. So we settled for the next best thing that you searched out of Chaos Dragons. I want two dark arms. OCG has had multiple dark arms for the longest time, and I just want to experience it once in my lifetime. Because back when dark arm was like big and popular, I had taken a hiatus from the game, so I never got to experience putting multiple dads on the table. But I just want to do it one time. Yeah. Plus, cards like Fairy Tale Snow are gone, so you can't gr- manipulate the grave as easily now. Unless you open it, dark cards like Dark Arm are just too slow day- nowadays, so I just... Yeah, dark, I don't think it does anything. Dark Arm's like one of the coolest main deck boss monsters there is. His art's, ama- his art's amazing, his effect is really cool, um, but like you said, he, he's very... Like, you have to build and play around getting him out because of Snow being gone, so I, d- I don't think it would do anything, but I would definitely play some, like dark armed invoke deck because that's like the kind of shit i do it'd be janky for sure yeah but i would have fun with it so my last pick was uh unicorn two because like i said there's not really much to move up because semi limited is a weird number and i just think it'd be okay See that—that's the fanboy talking into you. Yeah, I—I don't, I don't, I don't think that's well, okay. I was between this and warning, and we, after we talked, like warning is just like that's a really scary card in multiples, and I don't want to deal with that. I'm just saying I'm not okay. I am not okay with trying to. Huh? You cut out. You're not okay with what? I'm not okay with cards that shut off an entire game mechanic just putting that out there it doesn't shut off a game mechanic it shuts off your extra deck monsters it shuts, that's a game it shuts off the effect it doesn't say you can't special summon them you might but, as well be turning off the mechanic okay Why it's 2300 body thunder dragon roar beats this card yeah no one's no, no one's putting a roar in attack position that's how I lo- took my second L in Rosemont roar is the worst card in the day you should feel bad you should have out it <laughs> I did, and then he boosted it again with Matrix. <laughs> well, that's because you're boozy, all right? Whatever. Oh, uh, whatever. All right, Bro. so going to the unlimited section, what you got? All right, so my first one is my queen. I want three constructs. Unfortunately, she ain't going to do anything. But I mean, like, she's a solid engine piece for the strategy. Bro- I, I, she's always going to be broken in my mind. Yeah. I just want it. it I want I want to sleeve up my three ulti. And just feel powerful. Yeah, if if we ever do get a card as powerful as Snow that you want to send off of Shadal Fusion, you know she's always going to be there. So it, at one or at three, it's almost the same thing. You know, as an engine, you play one as the Shadal deck, which will never do anything. You'll play more than one. So I I don't see a reason why this card can't be at three. So my first pick is Maxi to three. Because the game needs this card. I don't care what anybody says. If you if you can't play around Maxi, that's your own fault. I'm perfectly okay with three Maxi. I think it's the equalizer. Yeah, it's I really do. A great equalizer. We got Call by the Grave. We got Ash. We got not playing shit your hand onto the board decks. Like Goki saying, Goki format, yeah. Never Goki format never happens with three Maxi. Yeah, and I, I don't see anything wrong with that. It just, I think it facilitates more interactive gameplay. Obviously, at one, the card was degenerate as all hell. Because if you open it in zoo format, you won. So, what was your second pick? My second pick, which probably 100% should not happen. But I want 3 Diva. Water is my favorite deck. All I heard is three diva mains. I have seven main deck copies if you're counting one for one. Ooh. Ooh. So many combos. Yeah. And honestly, I like 
I get it. It's prob- some people would probably be a little bit scared of it, but I don't see a problem with it because it has generic outs. It's got several like staple cards that stop it: impermanence, ash, failure. Like it's not like the you re- you summon this card, you win. You know. Now this is the part where Steven Trifonovsky comes in. Diva's one card Orcus combos loop two. What up? But hey, you know, whatever. Diva's an FTK, right? I mean, it can be. I'm sure it can be. Alright, so my, my number two pick is Brilliant Fusion to three. This. Yeah. The card is fine. The only reason... It was fine for years, and then Thunder Dragons came out plus Snow, and when you banish Thunder Dragons with Snow, it's pretty good, so... Thanks for that, Joe. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. That was not my idea. I just rolled. But I, I honestly think without Fairytale Snow and this, it just all it just goes back to doing what it used to do and helping rogue decks be a little bit better. Uh, so, and if you got grass, you gotta have Brilliant Fusion. Amen. All right, we're getting down to the last two cards. What is your what is your final pick to go to three? So my final pick, believe it or not, was Spiral Gear Drone. Um, this, this was actually this was kind of hard for me to think because I was looking at the deck and I wanted to give it something back, but not something that would be like super ridiculous because we can't have three because like you just machine dupe it and like that's raw the shenanigans. Yeah, that's like as degenerate as it gets. Yeah, you can't give the deck three Spiral Resort back because having three searchable Rota searched by a Rota. That makes all your monsters untargetables already unfair. But like drones, don't get me wrong, like it's it's an insane card, especially to be at three when bring puts super agent back in your hand, but like the consistency you add to your deck by having those extra two copies and just stack your opponent's deck. I think it's just enough to make the deck playable yeah. at like 12.5 status. Yeah, because the the deck's is extremely powerful now. It just it loses to itself more than more than anything because you have to play so many bricks because your engine is so so small now because of the ban list. So yeah, the deck's all one of nothing pissed me off more than my opponent stacking a, a hand trap on top of my deck when I was going oh. second. So, Bro, what are you talking about? I, That's the cheese on top. I don't want to see that again, but I, I definitely think the Spiral strategy, this would make it playable. It would make it tier 1.5 to tier 2. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with having more of those in the format. So, I agree with that. I think it'd be cool as fuck. And my third and final pick for Unlimited is Upstar Goblin to 3. This Bring card, back. yeah, this guy, uh, like, yeah, I get it's a non card. Sky Strikers would love it, but like, I, I just don't see a problem with it as long as you're letting your opponent, or as long as you're cutting your opponent's deck every time they activate it so they don't soft cheat you. I'm just saying, my man Hoban has been retired for X amount of years now. It's time to show him respect, put him back to three. Yeah, so this is just one of those cards that I just feel can come back and it'll be all right. All right, guys, so that is the entire list. Um, this was just something more fun. We'll probably do a collaboration since the band list did get pushed back about, you know, our individual thoughts because I already did mine and I don't think Joe has put one up yet, right? No, I kind of, I wanted to wait a little bit closer to it, but now since it's not, probably not going to be until later in the month, we could probably do something later. Yeah, so... Uh, keep an eye out for that and it'll be a more serious discussion this was just kind of for fun like what do we want to do type of thing so uh, if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you check out the dual factory over on his channel as well as like comment and subscribe this video and check out our other stuff we do a podcast every sunday it's pretty cool okay bye all right peace out